Hi Taurus, how are you? If you know how, welcome. My name is Michelle. And this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no day to day are divinely guided. Everything has free well, and everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that rose can be resonating between energy. And as I always say, around all day here. So you just know that this is entirely general. Feel free to take or leave whatever you want from today's reading. Also, I am on Spotify, so please, if you want to follow me on Spotify for daily podcasts and episodes, make sure to check the comment section for the link or in the description box below. I'm trying to grow up to 200 over there, so if you want to help me, I would highly appreciate it. If not, it's fine too. So we got here six of cups, ten of cups, ten of ones, page of ones, I'm sorry, page of swords in reverse, queen of ones, nine of ones. And death card. So we got Scorpio energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, focus on Scorpio. I got a lot of fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, a lot, a lot, a lot. And you know, towards your Capricorn. So I do feel uh, somebody who you divorce or separated from is coming back into your life. They're trying to earn your forgiveness. There's an apology coming. Um, they're actually, I do feel like you could have kids with this person or you share. A lot of time with this person and where a conversation with kids came you know or you could have kids or they could have kids you know one or the other but this person seems to be somebody that you already had a relationship with i don't know if it was a long lasting one or a short-term one but you guys already had a romantic interaction now this person uh that cheat on you or lied to you the way the way it was is like you guys ended right so i let you they're coming back in or wanting to come back in. There's a possible apology. They're coming here with a, wanting to apologize because they missed what you guys had. They had understood that they can't find that anywhere else. You were and you are somebody valuable to them. And they can't be without you. And they're coming in with an intention of working with you. Okay, now, if you take them or not, that's your freaking business and i'm not here to tell you what to do i'm just telling you what what it could happen what's the forecast <laughs> with the nine the ten of ones and the page of swords in the reverse right here they actually are coming forward with an apology saying that they do understand that they put a lot of weight in your shoulders they do understand that they were not a good partner they do understand that they did not help you in the house and things that they could help you with uh, they're also saying that his energies or this energies are saying that they're sorry that they always blame you for everything and they're sorry that they never took accountability for the things that they did. Uh, allegedly, they're saying that it was easier for them to just not really acknowledge or look in within because they were afraid of what they could see. Uh, they also come from a very problematic family, no matter if, they, if their parents are together or not. It wasn't a cute childhood. Um... Allegedly, they're saying that they they actually did not want to become like their father. But something about their father could be abusive or, I don't know, that somebody wasn't a good father figure or mother figure, if that makes sense. But either way, it's talking about here that they they took you for granted and they know that Taurus they say like hey I took you for granted I should have never took you for granted I should have never been mean to you I should have never done all of these things and you may say it's too late but they're coming in at least you're gonna hear this from them because they realize that they put they they expected too much sacrifice of you while giving you nothing in return and they know that you're a good person you're a good partner and they just didn't took you they they didn't cherish you the way you wanted to they're also talking about a, a day that you guys should have gone to a dinner and this person either or cancel or they made a scene and you guys had a very bad dinner. But either way, it's talking about a date that you guys had that they know that they, they were the one who ruined it. With the Queen of Wands right here and the Nine of Wands, now we come here with your energies. You are not the person you used to be. I don't know if you feel attraction to them anymore. But I do feel that there's a lot of hurt within your energies. With the nine of wands right here, you do not trust them. You do not you do not trust these words. You do not trust their change because in your energies you're saying with fire energy, I have heard this before. And at this point you're in this energy that you're too tired to go 
and give it a try so most likely you won't give this person a try because i do feel like you feel very heavily you're tired you've been heartbroken too many times you have been going through the same journey too many times and i do see that you're like maybe i don't want to go for it some of you may try it but most of you are going to say no with the hangman right here this is going to take this person by surprise because they were for almost sure that you were going to say yes but the fact is like you already for some of you you already checked out because with the five of pentacles right here you were in a relationship with them and they always make you feel alone or there was always too many issues there was also financial issues and it seems right here that you are heading towards what we consider financial stability if we compare the situation you were with them that what you are right now you are financially stable with the death card i do feel like there's no going back i feel like they lost their chance but at least you're gonna hear an apology it, it don't matter if it's gonna change anything but you're gonna hear it now with eight of wands i do see some changes coming your way i also feel right here that it's a recommendation for you to block certain family members who are related to your ex as whenever you don't take them back they're gonna make they may say something and they're gonna try to reach out to you and bother you so do not let anybody stress you out on your own phone just block them and continue with your life with the nine of swords right here i do feel like this past person caused a lot of stress and anxiety i feel like you are no longer feeling like that and before you thought you did have an, a, a mental health issue but you did have a mental health issue it was this person causing them and you know and i feel like with the two of pentacles you are actually finding balance within your life i do feel like you're finding balance within your work life and your home life i do feel like um money is coming and money will be coming uh in a very good easy pace i do feel like your stability financially is pretty good looking i feel like you're looking better than ever i do feel like you have a glow up after the breakup <laughs> the fool uh i do feel some of you want to dye your hair in a fun color if you were to double check or wonder blue says is a good color for you i do feel right here that you're going to i feel like some of you are looking healthier and younger is because you were in a toxic relationship i do feel a new love opportunity is also coming your way as well as a possible new job opportunities i do feel like you are taking risks you're no longer in this like taking it safe or keeping it safe you have feeling a feeling of like i was playing safe for too long and i feel like you're just taking that leap of faith you're actually going for after the things you felt you were not able to when you were with this person look at this i do see multiple people coming your way wanting to date you you're looking good you're looking better than ever i also see like financially you're stable you could actually get a a raise or a new job opportunity of managing a place or higher pay job with a higher title i also see right here that you're gonna have younger people also wanting to ask you out because you look younger than what you are i do feel like you're gonna go out in a couple of dates maybe nothing too like making it official but at least you're gonna get put yourself out there and get to know people i do feel that with leo energy you have let go of those insecurities you have let go of those insecurities you have found your inner strength you have been patient you have trust the universe even when you thought you didn't you did and i do feel that you are not and i see i feel so much peace when i talk about this you are literally at peace what's coming for taurus what's coming for taurus recognition recognition is coming your way um i also see right here that a newer energy as I said before, it's coming your way. You're going to meet somebody. This could be a work. Now, it's also talking about that you're going to achieve a lot of things in your personal life and also in your financial career life. Keep in mind that the people sometimes that we feel are going to support us, they don't always do it because keep in mind that not not because we are family or we are friends with them for a long time means that they really care for us sadly there's people out there who are just in your life to get to know the tea but not to to be happy for you so don't be so bad feeling so bad if people who you thought were going to 
like help you or support you don't because i feel like the support that you're seeking is coming from strangers or other people i always put a little bit of me on my readings and i want to let you know that when i divorced my ex and i started my career on youtube it's been like this is my third year on youtube uh, and on social media and with my business with tarot business if you didn't know i do tarot readings as well personal ones but anyways uh people who i thought were going to support me which is some friends and some family members they not to this day most of my followers are not even my friends or family members are total strangers the same way the people who support my business and i've been afloat not because of my friends or family but because of strangers because sometimes people who are near us cannot appreciate and cherish us because just because we are related or we have been in their life for a long time doesn't mean they're going to not everybody who's around you is happy for you and that's a pill hard to swallow that i had to learn the hard way so don't be too hard on yourself if people who are around you do not support you other people will i can promise you that i see right here that your mother-in-law or your ex-mom-in-law if you had kids with your ex is gonna be like they're not gonna like you i do feel like there's a legal battle here for some of you that you're going to win they're not gonna like that either now we here right here with the ten of pentacles there's a lot of gossip around your name um i will highly recommend you to not invest in trying to defend yourself because people who are talking about you they know the truth they know that they're actually not correct but sometimes there's people out there like i said before who never really liked you and they were just waiting for a reason to hate you and that's the reason they found the reason now they're adding more to the fuel so don't 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 invest in them the best thing you can do is do better for yourself ignore them and trust me this is what people get the most angry whenever you do not give them your time of like your seconds of the day because people like that are not even worth seconds of the day i do see with the eight of pentacles and reverse i do feel like um work is important to Taurus, but it's also important here to take time for yourself you don't want to go to the hospital because you're burnt out i do feel like you could be work overworking yourself or burning out and getting towards burnout you want to also balance it okay i do feel like money is important but i feel like it's hard for you to put yourself first at times um just because you don't want to work one day just because you want to la like lay down one day does not or you don't want to cook one day you're not lazy you work a lot you're freaking working a lot it's time for you to put yourself first you know you don't want to end up in the hospital dehydrated or something i'm so proud of you taurus this is awesome with the queen of pentacles and viewers i know you're not mentally and perhaps this is something that is more like a, a desire more than a reality you feel like you're not there but keep in mind that every day you choose yourself and you choose to do better than the day before you're healing you're moving forward you're putting yourself first i do feel like transformation is there i also see here some of you not only a new partner in the future i do see that this person could come around four to five weeks after using this reading i do see like changes are coming very soon you don't have to wait a whole year it's gonna be soon uh there's also an upcoming pregnancy for others to view this could be a rainbow baby as well as just a pregnancy a surprise one and a new relationship and this is leading to a healthy relationship i feel like this new person coming in is your first healthy relationship and it, it's kind of scary because nobody talks about the healthy relationship after an abusive one or a toxic one and it's super scary because it's like you are triggered by the past but also have to understand that this is new you know what i'm saying so i do feel like you feel like you're not there or you sometimes feel like you are not healing how you should be healing is an individual journey not everybody heals the same not everybody heals as fast and you're doing it so don't be so hard on yourself. Stop criticizing yourself so much. I feel like the beautiful, the beautiful thing about the future is that we don't always know much about it. And you don't have to be so defensive. You're very defensive over the future because you're like, I want to prepare myself for things that they don't go well. There's no need to prepare for the worst because the worst is now over. You're heading towards the king of pentacles somebody who means what they say say what they mean and they can actually provide exactly what 
you wanted. Uh, this is a good provider, a good protector, and also somebody who really cares for you and is faithful. So it's not a manipulative person. The Eight of Pentacles right here. You need to work on, on yourself. Continue to work on your money. I do feel that the main focus right now is your money and your financial. This, if you, I don't know if you have Libra in your chart, but if you want to check out the Libra Singles reading, it's also talking about money. So I feel like this is your time to, to get at it, to fix, to work, to get. And I feel like you're getting to it. You're working very hard, but also take care of yourself. And I feel like you are very talented with your hands. You are very creative. You can also use that hobby, that talent mm -hmm. as, an, as an income. The star in reverse, Aquarius energy. Healing is the hardest part of everything. Healing is being vulnerable. And I feel like you are working on healing. You're working on healing and achieving that. So... You're very close. You're very close. But overall, do not let the past in. I don't see they have changed. They're going to apologize to you. Fine. But I feel like the past has not changed. I feel like where you belong is the future because the future seems to be more aligned to you. Everything happens for a reason with Sagittarius energy. Endings brings new beginnings. And like I said before, look celebration look celebration and peace is coming from the future so i will highly recommend you to invest in the now invest in you walk away from the from the past because the future is promising babe so let me give you a uh, possible initials of the newer energy i'm not gonna invest with the past because you should know who this person may be Keep in mind that this could be the first, last, metal, or even a nickname. Okie dokes. So we got MS and Michelle, GS and George, PS and Peter, ES and Edwin, KS and KFC, JS and Jason, WS and William, NS and Nina, and H as in hamburger. So those are the possible initials of the new energy coming your way. I want to also give you some physical description as well. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's see the possible physical description. Okay. So we got somebody who could wear a lot of black clothing. It says black or African American. Muscular. Tribal. Younger than you. Could be an albino. Curly hair. And I'm gonna do this. Baby face. So that's the possible physical description of this new energy. To finalize, I want to give you an angel's card, okay? I'm going to give you an angel's card here. Oh my god, I almost forgot. And it also says practitioner. So, let me just... For real, let me get an angel's card for you, Taurus. Okay. It says creative project and it says creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We are guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Ground yourself. When you're when you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world you become ungrounded although it's pleasant to float heavenward your attention and work are needed upon the earth we're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly earthly life so for this set this is the end of the card
uh, ratings for you, Taurus. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, if you want to follow me on IG and TikTok, the links are in the description box below. I always tend to follow back on it on IG. I also have a Spotify, as I said in the beginning. If you want to help me out, please go to the description box below and you're going to find the link or in the comment section. Uh, also, I'm open for personal reading. So if you want to get a reading with me, please go and visit my website in the description box below. Uh, also, if it's easy, you can actually book on my IG. There's going to be links on my bio and you're going to find a link to my appointment book uh, website over there too. I want to let you know that I have a sale going on for new clients, 10% off. And also I have to buy one, get one in the spreads. So with this said, guys, thank you so very much and have an amazing day. Reminder that I do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and I never message anybody to offer my services as I said before. Excuse me. Uh, the only way you can book is online. So with this, guys, thank you so much.